Hello everyone! So today we're gonna learn how to create a letter frame in Canva. We have two things for you today. One is for those who don't have a Canva subscription and another is for those who have a Canva subscription. So if you don't have a Canva subscription then this is something you can do. So we're gonna go to the elements button on the side bar and then on the search bar, we're going to type in letter frames. We're going to find the frames category and click on see all to view more options. And from there, you'll find many letters you can choose from. Just continuously scroll down and choose whatever style you'd like. We're going to try out an example here. So Let's try to spell a certain word. Let's go back to the top. Maybe we've missed some letters. We might actually want to give a try. So I'd like to use this letter L. Now we're going to look for a letter E. Ah, uh, no, there it is. I'm going to select everything to properly position it. Okay, now we're going to try to insert some photos. So we're going to select photos here and type in whatever photo we're looking for. So I want to look for pictures of flowers and once you choose one all you have to do is drag it towards the um, letter frame to insert it there and there you have it that's how you create a letter frame if you don't have a Canva subscription. But say you want to create your very own custom letter frame, this is what we can do. We're going to try to add another page so we have something to work on. We're going to press T on our keyboard to add a text box. Type in whatever word you'd like. Change it to whatever font you want. And once you're happy with your font, we're going to go ahead and download it. On the share button on the upper right, select download from the drop down, select SVG. This is the reason why you need to have a Canvas subscription in order to do this method. Select the page you're working on and then click on download. Now we're going to open PowerPoint. Click blank presentation and delete everything on the page. Go to insert and choose pictures. Navigate to where you downloaded your SVG file 
and here it is. Click on Convert to Shape and click Yes. And there we have it. Make sure that nothing else is in the background. Okay, now click on a character or a letter, go to Shape Fill, select Picture, and according to your preference, choose an option right here. In my case, I'm going to choose from a file and choose any picture you want. Do the same thing for the rest of the letters. And there you have it. Once you're done, go to File, and then click Save As. Choose your desired location, and select PDF as your file type. Rename it. And click on Save. Go back to Canva. Make sure you go back to Canva's homepage. Select Projects and click on Add New. Click on Upload. Select the PDF file that you created. In this case, we created this PDF file and click Open. Wait for it to fully load up. And there it is. Once it's loaded up, we can go ahead and click on it. And here's our frame, our very own custom frame. And now, in order to replace an image here, just click on a letter and hit delete on your keyboard so that you will remove the image you inserted earlier. You can now resize it and insert any image you want to insert in it. Let's give it a try. Let's try another picture. You can actually resize your picture on each frame. And there it is. How cool is that? If you want to create another frame, then you already know what to do. We hope you found today's video tutorial of help. And we thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.